there is absolutely no such thing as intrinsic value. Mm -hmm. Gold has no intrinsic value either. The value is in the mind of the being beholding it. So if there were no humans on the earth to look at gold and like it, gold would have no value whatsoever. If there weren't human beings to appreciate Bitcoin, Bitcoin would no, have no value. So there's no such thing as intrinsic value. The value is in the mind of the beholder. People like to make jokes about how Bitcoin isn't for people that make less than $2 a day. Bitcoin is for everybody. Roger, uh, here are people from SBS CNBC, which is CNBC Korea. Hey, we're going to do a documentary shooting, like one minute from here. Okay. Take a shovel. Do you have a okay. Bitcoin.com wallet? Uh, he will by the end of the day. <laughs> okay, great. He will, yeah. I'm pretty sure he will. <laughs> do you remember your photo? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, nice to see you again. Yeah. So, Do we have like the, the, the great golf cart shuttle thing? I think they're just giving us the car. Oh, this one? Okay. Am I supposed to go in the car then? Yep. Okay. So Roger's going to shoot a documentary video with SBS CNBC here. Tell us for people that aren't Koreans living in Korea, what is SBS? Uh, it's basically, uh, SBS is the national TV It's like channel one of the here. most popular TV channels? Yeah, it's thing? like ABC or CBS in America, so. Basically. And we're going to tell them all about Bitcoin Cash again. Yes. And, and we'll give some away on live TV, hopefully. Yes, so. absolutely. Millions of viewers are going to watch Roger speaking about Bitcoin Cash and how it's going to change the world. Koreans love cash, especially oh, Bitcoin Cash. Definitely. <laughs> and they're going to know more about Bitcoin Cash Wallet, Bitcoin.com Wallet now. So sure. You're going to do that thing again with the. I, I need to ask. Code. I I, I yeah. plan to do that. Yeah, we, okay, we need to get great. someone to print. Uh, QR print code. a. The first person. Print a paper wallet real quick. Yeah. So I'm going to send it. Iman won? Iman won. So about 10,000 won? Maybe you can explain to him in the future that yeah. could become worth a lot more sure. also. Yeah. 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 I wonder if the front, maybe we should ask the front desk here. They probably have a printer and they can print one because the piece of paper is a lot more powerful demonstration, I think. Do you have a printer we can use? Can we print one paper, one piece of paper from the front desk? Oh, is that possible? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this time, how long are you staying? We got in Monday, I'll leave Sunday night. Oh, so. So about four days or something like that? Five days, yeah. Busy yeah. schedule. Yeah, busy. Yeah. Lots of jet lag. <laughs> yeah. But I'm sure you're busy talking to all sorts of people all over the place as well. <laughs> right? They can have you report on I'm all sorts busy. of things, right? I'm not as busy as you. Uh, Roger, you're very well known for being an early investor in Bitcoin. Uh, how do you assess the current cryptocurrency market? I think it's getting more and more traction around the world. More and more people are starting to use things like Bitcoin Cash as cash. And it's really exciting because now we're seeing competition in the issuance of money. Whereas Previously, we didn't have any competition. Anytime you have a monopoly, you have poor service at a high price. Well, now that we have competition, we're going to have good service at a, at a lower price and a better user experience. So what is your strategy to promote Bitcoin Cash? That's a great question. So my strategy is to give away Bitcoin Cash on the TV. So the first person that scans this private key right here with their Bitcoin.com wallet or any other wallet that can handle Bitcoin Cash will get a free, uh, let's see, Mekman won, right? About 100 US dollars worth of Korean won. It'll literally go from this piece of paper onto the TV, onto the TV screen somewhere to somebody in Korea. And the first person to scan that will receive the money. And the fee to do that is about two Korean won to do that. So basically free. Bitcoin Core BTC can't do that any longer. Bitcoin Cash can. And so because it's usable as cash by people all over the world, not just Korea, people all over the world are going to start using it in commerce. So it's really exciting to see that happen. That was very smart move. <laughs> <laughs> I came prepared. So. <laughs> but there are still many concerns uh, around surrounding the uh, cryptocurrency market. And most recently, Federal Reserve Chairman mentioned that uh, cryptocurrencies don't have intrinsic value. Uh, did you hear that? So I, I heard him say that yeah. and, and the fact that he would say something so something like that at all just shows that he hasn't even studied the concept at all. There is absolutely no such thing as intrinsic value. Gold has no intrinsic value either. The value is in the mind of the being beholding it. So if there were no humans on the earth to 
look at gold and like it, gold would have no value whatsoever. If there weren't human beings to appreciate Bitcoin, Bitcoin would no, have no value. So there's no such thing as intrinsic value. The value is in the mind of the beholder. And that's a fundamental tenet of the Austrian School of Economics, which most people working at the Federal Reserve and other places don't understand or they wouldn't be saying such foolish things as, oh, Bitcoin doesn't have any intrinsic value. Nothing has intrinsic value. The value is in the mind of the beholder. How is Korean market right now? Uh, there's so much excitement about Bitcoin Cash in Korea now. Mm -hmm. So many platforms are being built on top of Bitcoin Cash. So many businesses are integrating it. Uh, we've had multiple meetings yesterday. We have more today with different businesses here in Korea that are busy integrating Bitcoin Cash because it's the most usable, widespread, easily uh, to develop on cryptocurrency around. So it's getting a lot of traction here in Korea and the world. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, she is such a professional reporter. Oh. Wow. <laughs> You too. <laughs> no, I thought I did a good job. Liz really shines. So, wow, Exciting. nicely done. Yeah, so. I really loved your answer to the, uh, the uh, intrinsic value. And so, yes, yeah, like it's so. When I hear people say, "Oh, Bitcoin doesn't have intrinsic value," yeah. nothing has intrinsic value. If there weren't people on the earth to like have a mind to look at something, nothing would have any value at all. So, do you have a Bitcoin Cash wallet yet, Liz? Can we can we set you up with one? Do you Please? have your Do you have your hand, your handy phone oh, yeah. available? <laughs> and anybody else that doesn't have a, a Bitcoin wallet? <laughs> we'll set it up so if i wasn't sitting right next to you um you would send me your bitcoin cash address by kakao talk or mm -hmm. facebook or anything like that since i'm right next to you i just scanned it it's calculating the fee to send that to you the fee is two korean won mm -hmm. so i just hit the send button and we'll wait one second here and we'll see that the money will go directly from my phone to your phone it already received on your phone before my phone said it was done sending it so that's how fast it was you didn't give your name you didn't give your email you didn't give your tax id number the money literally went directly from my phone to your phone it didn't go through a bank it didn't go through a company it didn't get permission from anyone anywhere in the world it's literally impossible for anybody including governments to block those payments it's impossible for anyone so i, I sent you a how do you say, Mek Man Won? But, uh, oh. one, one, uh, 100,000 oh. won, so which is $88 at the moment. Oh. And you can send it just like that anywhere in the world instantly, mm -hmm. any country, anywhere, to anyone. This is all anybody needs to know in order to send money to somebody. So, And this is a QR code for this public address. Mm -hmm. In order to spend the money that's at this address, you have to know the, the private key, which is this right here. So if you go and open, if you hit the scan button on your phone right now, right. and hit uh, allow camera access, mm -hmm. And if you scan this one right here, it'll say it's a private key. Oh. Click Sweet Paper Wallet. Mm -hmm. And it's looking to see if there's any money on this address that it can claim from this key. Oh. It says no Bitcoin cash found, right? No Bitcoin found. So there's no money on it. Hit the back button and hit the scan button again. Mm -hmm. And then scan this one mm -hmm. and the send, send max amount. You're going to send all your money to this right. piece of paper is what's right. going to happen. So it says okay to send that. Mm. So go ahead and send okay. And then you'll do slide to send. There you go. So now what's happening is you're sending the money from your phone to this piece of paper. So the payment's been wow. sent. Go ahead and hit okay. And if you hit the home button in the app here, you'll see you have no more money left. Or it's, it's updating, right? So <laughs> yeah. Bitcoin cash balance is, is zero, zero, right? Ah, interesting. So now the money is on this piece of paper. Ah. So... I won't take your money because I, I gave it to you, but I'll, I'll show you how it works now from a different app, right? right. So now if I scan this one with the same app and I hit Sweet Paper Wallet, it's going to check and see if there's any money on this piece of paper. And it says, look, it found Bitcoin Cash, right? So I can hit Sweep, but I'm not. I'm going to cancel. We'll let you sweep it back to your phone. So go ahead and hit the scan button again on your phone. Scan this one, which is the private key. Touch Sweet Paper Wallet. And look, it found your Bitcoin mm -hmm. Cash. You sent it from your phone, now it's on the piece of paper. And if you touch the sweep button, it'll bounce it back onto the app in your phone again. So you sent the Bitcoin from your phone to the piece of paper, and now it's coming back onto your wow. phone again. Thank you. My Thanks pleasure. You. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you very much, Liz. <laughs>
Yeah, so um, we just launched our wallet about a year, a little over a year ago. We just okay. surpassed 2.5 million wallets created on our platform. Great. That's a pretty darn good start for our first year, and we're looking forward to going even faster in the coming year okay. uh, because it's uh, the best Bitcoin Cash wallet around and one of the best cryptocurrency wallets around the world. Okay. Uh, and so people are loving it, and you see people using it all over the place to do all sorts of fun things and send and receive payments with people all over the world. And we did some of that earlier today already. It's, uh, it's really a really a great wallet, I think, and we have a, a great team working on it, too. You know, I grew up in Silicon Valley and all the people that are interested in Bitcoin Cash are for the most part guys and for the most part maybe less than 35. But here in Korea there's all sorts of, you know, Ajuma is showing up, right? And for people that don't speak Korean, Ajuma means like a, a woman who's already married, but right. usually it implies a little bit, you know, up there in age. There's a bunch of them showing up at the events and like I wouldn't expect to see that in Silicon Valley, but in Korea, it's people of every you know sex and gender and, and, and age range showing up, and lots of you know already were using cryptocurrencies on their phone. So it was really exciting to see that. Bitcoin Cash, gaja! Thank you all very very much. Come right, samida, bye bye. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. Roger just finished uh, recording a documentary with SBS CNBC. And he's the number one news number show in Korea? Yep. Is that right? Yeah. yeah, I think so. Recently, I've been using Coinex. Uh, Coinex. The most Coinex is awesome. Uh -huh. I have nothing but good things to say about Coinex and the guy behind it. Like, wow, yeah. that guy really gets stuff done. So great job, Coinex. Great job, Via BTC. Great job, uh, Hypo. Okay. Which I'm sure I didn't pronounce his name very well. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for taking the time. I'm very right. extremely busy. Thanks for the invitation and thanks for the perfect English too. So we're, <laughs> you're up overseas somewhere? Yeah, I was in New York for a while. Okay, for quite a while. One thing said. So basically, all the exchange is uh, an exchange that uh, one of the biggest I'm doing this. launching decentralized exchanges here in Korea. Yes. It's being backed by the largest exchange in Korea as well, by LP. We are happy to uh, have a meeting with Roger Burr, Bitcoin Cash, and it was really enjoyable uh, meetings with them. And we are, we hope, really uh, getting more popular in Korean crypto market. So yeah, so it was a good time. Thank you. We'd love to get you on our show. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to. Uh, where is this? It's five minutes from here. Let's let's do it. Yeah. Oh, Oh yeah 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 hey Bitcoin.com wallet haseo Bitcoin Cash Yeah I will send her the Bitcoin Cash yeah Who else does not have a Bitcoin Cash wallet Bitcoin Cash right you have your Bitcoin Cash wallet already Yeah let's do it <laughs> That's gonna be on YouTube now. <laughs> You think I can contact you? Uh, uh, to, uh, yeah, you can, but I'll be slower to reply. Mickey, do you have a card with you? Or do your cards arrive yet? Or, no, I'm your This is my personal system. Okay. Just yeah. 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 She just started, though, so we don't have a card. Yeah. Yeah. first week on the job. Perfect. Yeah, let's okay. just. So I'd so I love to so fit it in the next couple of days while I'm here, so I'd love to do it. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Do we have any time for lunch between the next thing? Or dinner now, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a final thought. Bitcoin Cash, are you? Bitcoin Cash. What are you? Bitcoin Cash. 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 Bitcoin But uh, how long? What's the, what's the next week? Five years. Last last time we were here, I was dying.
I think for the currency aspect, like a currency is more useful if everybody else is using the same one that you're using. And like you're yes. flying from Korea right. back to London. Yeah. When it comes to cash, like it's pretty darn inconvenient. You have these different colored pieces of paper and they only work in certain parts of the world. Like I literally paid for my tickets to come here with Bitcoin cash. I'm glad to hear it. Do you use uh, Destina or which, which, which website? Yeah. 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 Great. Cheap, glad to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. Or cheapair.com cheap cheap or? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. There's two. There's a couple of different yeah, ones yeah. now. Cheap so. Cheap Air. Yeah. Hotels, airlines. Fantastic. Love it. Yeah. Glad to hear it. Really? You can do that? Yeah. It's a real thing. It's kind of the whole point. So. <laughs>